Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to create a certificate of completion and in another video I'm going to bulk create them with external data. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by creating a custom design. And this custom design is going to be in centimeters and um, so I'm just going to select centimeters and in here I'm going to type 29.7 and for the height I'm going to type 21 centimeters and I'm going to create this design. Okay here we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements and mind you I can search for diplomas to get uh, ideas. So these are all the different types of diplomas. Most definitely, yes, you can use any one of these uh, and modify the uh, words or the borders, uh, but I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go into elements and I'm gonna search for a certificate border to start off. And I'll go into um, I kind of actually like this one. Uh, so maybe I'm going to select that one. Um, although I don't like this. And that doesn't seem to fit well in my space. So I may need to resize uh, this design. Now, uh, one trick that you can uh, do is you can, um, let me just, I want to get rid of that um, medallion. I don't really like it, so I'm just going to uh, get rid of it and I'm going to go back. Now, one thing you can do is if the sizing isn't matching your workspace, what you can do is you can just crop it and then create a duplicate and put it on the other side. And let me just flip that this way and I'll bring that there and then I'll just make that bigger and I'll move it over and then I'll just uncrop it and just try and match it as as good as possible like that. Um, so that's one trick that you can try. So now I'm going to grab some text and I'm going to add some text to my workspace. I'm going to try and keep it centered. So I'll just keep it like that and I'm going to stretch it out. and try and keep it even. And in here, I'm gonna type in all caps, certificate of completion. Now, I'm also gonna change the font. Um, I'm going to change it to Arial. Um, I I'm choosing Arial because I like a chunky uh, basic font. So um, that's fine for me, but that's what makes designing great is you can choose any font that you like, right? So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller until it fits. Okay, that is perfect, like that. Uh, and now uh, let me add some more text. I'm gonna add my subheading in here. Uh, this is binate font and uh, I'm okay with using that. So, oh, sorry, I got my all caps on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some more text. And for this text, I'm gonna be using, this is gonna be the name of the individual. So. I'm going to use um, a font called Petite Formal, 
I seem to have liked that. So here it is, Petite Formal. And let me just double click in there. And I'm just going to add the word John or the name John Smith, rather. And let me make that larger. And let me just move that up like that. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to add some more text. So I'll add some more text. And in this text, I am going to say uh, successfully completed the Canva beginners course. Skills and knowledge acquired Canva basics design. It's a user interface basics and Canva beginners design. Okay, and I've got some spelling mistakes in there, so we got to correct those. We don't want a certificate having spelling mis mistakes, of course, right? Uh, and now I'm just going to make this text a little bit larger. Let me bring that in a little bit. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. And OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to find a seal, I guess, right? A gold seal. Or maybe um, actually a silver seal. Okay, and that seems good. And what I will do is add uh, some text in there. Let's go back to text. And I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to say awarded and the year. And I'm going to uh, make that bold. And I'm just going to position that in the middle. And I'm going to decrease the line spacing uh, in between. Now, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab these two and I'm going to group them. Uh, that way they're, they just stay together and I don't have to worry about moving them uh, accidentally. I am going to add a little bit more text. And in here, uh, I will add awarded on and I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and I'll put that here and then I'm going to duplicate that and bring that over here and I'm going to put a date in here so I will put uh, April 16 2024 Okay, and I'll make these both bold. And the other thing that I'll do is on the other side, I will add a certificate of completion. So I'm just going to make a duplicate and just bring that over here just for simplicity's sake. 
and I'm going to put in here certificate ID and I'll just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess if you had a certain amount of hours um, that the course, uh, the total course, the total hours of the course, you could put that in here too. That's totally up to you. You could probably put it right in here. Um, I think one more thing I'm going to add is maybe a divider line over here under certificate of completion. So let me see if I can find a divider. cannot okay so I've got this but it's gold so um, wondering if we can change it to blue let's see if we can find something else or maybe we can change that to blue or maybe oh that's black okay so let's change this to blue to blue or maybe we can change it to silver okay so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit photo and we're going to use edit um, we're going to use duotone to change the color now we have these presets that we could use too um, so we can try mono um, that might work um, now if you want to change it to blue um, we could also change it to blue so it's, it's pretty much up to you what color you want to change it to using Duotone. So Duotone is right here. So what I did was I clicked this element, I went into Edit Photo, and I clicked on Duotone to change the color. So that's one trick of how you can change the color of an element um, that doesn't give you the color picker up here in the toolbar. Um, okay, so I think that is just about it for our for creating a certificate of completion. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna explore how to bulk create certificates or, di or diplomas in bulk. So I hope that you truly enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to be first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.